<laughs> okay, we are live. Hello, Mafa. Hi, Michael. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Today, we're going to uh, have a little quick um, election for our treasurer position. We have with us um, Samantha Chan from the University of Minnesota. Um, and she will share with you guys uh, a short speech, and then we'll go ahead with a Q&A from us. And then afterwards, we'll go ahead and explain the election process. Okay? Great. So Sam, Sam, Sam or Samantha? Uh, Sam's fine. Okay, Sam. Whenever you're ready, we're ready for you. And I have okay. to see the timing. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, um, so my name is Samantha Chan. I'm from the University of Minnesota. Um, I was the former treasurer of our PSA here, and um, it was I'm a senior this year, so I wanted to move on to MAFA to do something bigger. Um, I have some ideas for MAFA. I, uh, for people who don't know, I said I wanted to do the school membership fee, as well as um, possibly selling like MAFA t-shirts so we can all be united as a group. And I think t-shirts really helps us feel more as one. And my other idea was um, to help raise more money for MAFA and possibly make the conference free again like we did at um, Milwaukee, or not Milwaukee, um, Madison, was to do like candy grams throughout the year, like let's say for Valentine's Day, we can sell, send candy grams to people throughout the Midwest, like to our MAFA families or something like that, just to help us raise some money to help the organization grow more. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Great speech. So we're going to go ahead and do a Q&A if anybody wants to go first. We'll have a, about a three-minute a three minute q and A. No problem. Okay. So from, from what you've said in your speech, you mentioned that you want each school to pay a membership fee, possibly. How would you go about advertising to do this, and what incentives would you provide them? Um, I think for um, like we kind of discussed it at CWAC this at MAFA this past year, and there are a lot of ideas floating around. But um, I think we should just talk to all the presidents of each school to see how they feel about it, and then have the majority vote to see how comfortable they are with doing these, especially since different PSAs are different sizes, to, so just to make it fair for everybody. So um, yeah, definitely talk to the presidents, talk to their boards about it, and then from there we can figure it out, just to make sure everyone included in the decision process. I have a question. Okay. Um, if we do get our 501c3 nonprofit status this year, we'll be able to write grants to be able to get money to do activities such as MFAS and leadership retreat, winter retreat, et cetera, et cetera. Um, have you or do you have any experience writing grants? Um, I do. I, since I was the uh, treasurer for our PSA this year, I have written grants for our bigger events like our fashion show and our Hollow Hollow events, so I have written grants, and I feel like they've been pretty successful. <laughs> Thank you. I have a quick question. Kind of tying into your uh, point about making um, those t-shirts and other kind of fundraising plans, uh, mm -hmm. how are you planning on trying to like implement that and encourage the other like 19 MAFA schools to participate? Your ideas. Uh, I think for the t-shirt thing, we could have a contest for each school, like say, a designer a t-shirt and then a MAFA in general will vote for the best t-shirt and wh whichever school, um, whichever school's design gets voted on, um, the, or the person that designed the t-shirt could get a free t-shirt. Or um, some, if a school's t-shirt gets voted on, they could have free membership for the year or something just to make people more involved and get them excited to have some healthy competition between the schools and just to bring everyone closer together. Nice. It's like incentives. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'll go next. Um, so based off your experience as treasurer for your individual PSA, what ideas worked? Uh, what ideas would you have liked to try it out? And how do you plan on applying those to MAFA? Um, I think what really worked was definitely the like selling t-shirts. Um, with the designs that we had, we had some like flop designs, but then we also had really good designs that people really liked. And obviously the ones that were more successful were the ones where we had the um, our members choose which ones they like. So um, as long as the members are happy with what we're giving, like we're selling t-shirts and stuff. Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? 
Uh, so what ideas worked? Uh, what would you have liked to try it out? And how do you plan on applying that to MAFA this year? Okay, yeah, the teacher thing, that worked for sure. And then what I wanted to try out was this candygram thing. Like, I had it in the back of my mind the whole time, but um, with a lot of other stuff going on with my schedule, I couldn't really find ways to implement that. So this candygram thing would be new to me, but I, um, we tried it at my high school and it was really successful. So I, that's why I wanted to bring that to MAFA for next year. Okay, we have time for one more question if anybody has a last question. Going back on that candy gram idea, how do you think you can implement it Mafa wide? Um, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking like um, we could do one of those Google documents where people can send out um, or pick people who want to send candy grams, and each school would have what can send it to the respective people in their school. So like, let's say I wanted to send one to uh, you for Valentine's Day or something, just to be like you're the best president or whatever. I could, we could have someone from your school give it to you just so MAFA wouldn't have to deal with sending it Midwest-wide. And then whichever school gets the most money could probably would, could win a prize or something. Does anybody have one last question at all? I have a question. Go ahead, Mace. <laughs> How comfortable do you feel asking for like um, online donations, maybe from other schools and stuff like that, like setting up a website and getting fundraising through that way? Um, I'm I feel really comfortable with it. I feel like in person talking about it is a little more difficult because if you talk in person, it's harder to you might miss a couple ideas. But with like if we do it online through Google or like through Facebook events, it's easier to get all our ideas out and just make sure all the information is out there so people can look through it and really understand what's going on with it and that way people can like ask us questions to clear everything up and um, yeah <laughs> I guess just it's if I'm doing it online I feel like it's easier to clear your information up and we can post all the information they need to know and it would since it's online they can do it anonymously so it's not like they'd have to give us cash they can just use card and everything Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thanks. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Uh, we're actually live streaming this via YouTube and Google Plus. Um, and, <clears throat> whoa, 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 sorry, let me rewind. We're actually live streaming this via YouTube and Google Plus. Um, so afterwards, after this ends, we're actually going to send it out to the presidents of uh, the various MAFA schools, and we're actually all going to come together and vote. And in order for you to uh, be elected, you'll need to acquire two-thirds majority vote of all the 19 member schools and all of us as well. Okay. Okay, and that process should take about a week. So we're looking at about July 5th to have the decision. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, that concludes our election for the treasurer position. Um, please look out for those emails with this link. And uh, thank you very much, Mafa. Lights gone, days end, struggling to pay rent. Long nights, strange men. And they say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18